Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, I'm going to show you how do you transfer your leads or contacts that you have extracted using Romeo Organic to your favorite CRM. It could be HubSpot, Close, or you know whatever CRM of your choice. And in order to do that, you need to have either Zapier, Pabli, Make, or any other software connected platform like these. So before I uh, show you how to do it, I want to show you what exactly am I talking about. So let's say you're using the LinkedIn enrichment feature to scrape the uh, contact details of your potential audience. Uh, let me go to LinkedIn and try to make a search and I'll use the Chrome extension to extract the detail. So let's say I search for chief marketing officer and then I expand all the results, right? You can apply more filters to get better and accurate results. And then you're using this extractor. Right. So whatever I'm extracting from here, I want to transfer these contact to my CRM. Let's say I'm using close right now and I want to transfer all these contact to my close CRM. How do you do something like this? Right. So that's something I'm going to show you. First of all, let me just do it in front of you. Right now, you can see I have around 19 leads. I'm going to try scraping the emails from here and in front of you, I'm going to show you how I'm able to do something like this. Right. So here, let me just pause this video for a while until we scrape a little bit of contact from here. And then I'm going to show you how do we do it. All right. So now, as you can see, we were able to scrape a bunch of contacts from here. And as you remember earlier, we had around 19 contacts. Now, if I go back to my close CRM and I just refresh my page, I now have around 36 leads, right? And why 36 leads? Because I have added a couple of filtration in the process so that I only get those leads which are valuable for me, right? You can put filters or, you know, if you want to have a email validation system, you can do that or there can be a custom, you know, filtration in that process. So all of this can be added over here, right? So now let me just do one thing. I'll just stop it from here right and let's go back to my leads one more back one more time and you can see i have around 47 leads and now we'll try to understand how exactly we were able to do something like this right as you can see i just extracted all my contacts using chrome extension from linkedin and all of these leads were transferred directly to my crm and it will work for any of the crm that you're using whether it is hubspot close and there are like bunch of them in the market right so it will work for any of them. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to take close as an example and I'm going to show you how exactly that works. So what you need to do is first of all, you go to Zapier or Pabli or make the process is pretty much the same for any of the tool that you use. So I'm going to take Pabli as an example. Guys, before I move further, I want to tell you that at the end of this video, I'm going to give you this workflow you will be able to easily duplicate the workflow that I've created in the video. So even if you're not able to understand the technical aspect of it, just make sure you stick till the end so that you get that workflow and you're able to make it work for yourself, right? Let's begin. So go to Pabli, go to the Pabli connect feature and create a new, you know, Pabli automation. Since I've already done this to save your time, I'm not going to create from scratch. But to create a new workflow, you just need to click on create a workflow. You're going to name it new workflow from here, right? Click on this one and here you need to choose the trigger. So in my case, the trigger is always going to be the webhook, right? That's the first step you have to do. Now, once you have, uh, you know, once you get the webhook URL from here, you have to copy the webhook URL and you have to paste it inside grow me organic webhook section, right? So whenever a new email is found, I want to trigger this automation. So I'll just paste my uh, URL over here and I select this thing. When a contact is extracted and an email is found, right? But guess what? I've already done that. I've already pasted that. So there's a different webhook, which is GMO scraper to close. I've already copied this and paste it over here. And that's why you can see there is a active 
in live webhook in front of you so i'm not going to re recreate the webhook one more time right i already have done that the but the process is same right you choose the webhook copy this from here paste it inside gmo and select when exactly do you want to trigger trigger the webhook right i've already done this so once you do that go back to your extractor and try to extract a few profiles why do you want to do this because here when you create a new workflow it will be waiting for a webhook response so that template we need to get it so that once we get that template we can easily map the template to the uh, next action right as you can see since i made a search i was able to get something like this this was the response received so basically it's going to take one text example i got this email so it took this one and now i was able to use th these values from here and i was able to pass it to the next action that's exactly what you need to do right so uh, what i've done here is uh, i have so first of all i have extracted the email now it's going to transfer it to pably so pably has already captured the email you can see the email is there first name last name and bunch of other things are there about that that contact now i have created two routes right two different conditions you can create as many as you want you basically just have to add a new route or you can just duplicate the existing one from here right or you can just simply add the action here itself but there's something that i wanted to do basically i wanted to um you know check if the first email is not empty because what happens is when you use gromio organic to extract emails we give you two emails one is the first email another is the second email let me just quickly show you that so if you go to this profile we'll give you two type of emails first one and the second one right so what we want to do is we want to check if the first email is not empty then we are going to enroll the first email to our crm but if the first email is empty in that case we are going to look for the second email and then we will enroll the second one in the crm and if both of them are empty then in that case you know we we get net nothing and we are not enrolling anything to our crm right so i have created two routes over here and in order to create a new route you just have to click on the the router over here right click on the router it will create two different routes for you and you can create as many routes as you want you, basically you can create as many conditions as you want right so condition number 1 is when a email when my first email is empty so basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to fetch my webhook captured response right the template which i was talking about and if my first email is not empty then i'll trigger a automation where i'm trying to validate that email and then if the email is validated if the email response is okay then i will um send it to close crm right oh, and if my first email is empty and second email is not empty then i will trigger the same workflow basically but here instead of passing my first email for verification i will replace that with the second email right so i'm trying to verify the second email i'm trying to check the responses for the second email i'm trying to pass on the second email to the contact right here you can see i'm passing on the second email and for the for the first route i was basically transferring my first email over here to close oh oh i i forgot to you know choose the first one so i need to just pass the first one and then that's how the automation the whole automation will work right so in order to do something like this you just create like i said webhook create a router then create your first route and then just duplicate it so basically what i've done in this route is i'm just checking if my i'm trying to fetch the value from the web, webhook that was captured i'm checking if my first email is not empty then if my first email is not empty i'll try to verify my first email so let me just pass on my first email i'll try to verify my first email let me just save this right so if my first email the response that i got from my first email if that is okay means if the email is valid in that case i want to 
further transfer it to my CRM otherwise I won't right so if the response that I got from email list validation basically I'm using a using a email validation software which is whose name is email list validation you can use any of them right right now it is email list validation but if you just search for like email validation you, you'll get a bunch of validation tool uh, like there is this tool called zero bounce never bounce email list verify right so there are a bunch of email list validation tool out there you can choose from any of these the one which I am using right now is my email list validation so basically I've just connected my email list validation with Pabli over here using the API key and uh, you know next is I am transferring it to the next action which is where I'm trying to check if the email is valid or not if the email is valid then I'm creating a lead right so basically I've just connected my close account with um, Pabli how do you connect your close account if you click on the connect button right and if you try to add a new uh, connection it will give you a step-by-step -step instruction how to do it whether it is HubSpot whether it is whatever is your pl platform here you will find the instructions to do it so here it says enter your API key and leave the password field as blank log into your close account and you get the API key from the settings so all I need to do is click on the settings it will take me to the right page I create my API I've already created one but in front of you I'm gonna create one more time name it as GMO Pabli create that API key copy the API key go back in my account over here right I'm gonna paste my API key over here keep that as empty save it and guess what your close account is successfully connected right so that's that's all you need to do in order to connect your close account or any you know type of platform let's say I want to connect my email list validation the process is the same click here click on add a new connection and here it will give you the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to connect log into your email list validation account go to your API tab get the API key from there paste it over here and click save your your account is connected and this software will be able to talk to your email list validation account so here using email list validation I'm validating the email and if the email is valid I'm transferring it to close now if my first email is empty but the second email contains an email in that case I'm basically you know having the same workflow and the way I created the second workflow is by just duplicating this one click on clone we have the second workflow and then I just went ahead and changed certain parameters and filter the only thing I change is first email is empty and second email is not empty that's it that's all you have to do right so using this workflow on Pabli or Zapier or whatever is the platform that you're using you can easily transfer your extracted contacts to whatever CRM that you have all right so now is the time I show you how do you duplicate the entire workflow for yourself but for that make sure you already have an account with Pabli if not I'll try to uh, negotiate with these guys and get a best deal for you just check out the description I'm not sure if I have it at the moment but make sure to check out the description probably in a future I'll have a good deal to get the Pabli subscription they offer a free tier account as well where they give you some limited amount of credits but once you have their account once you have created their account now is the time when you will copy the workflow that I just created so in the description itself I'm gonna give you this workflow just go to this link which I'm putting over here right which is this one click on try it now and it should be copied in your system which is this right so now if I click over here there are a couple of things which I need to change first is I have to copy this link and paste it inside my Gromeo organic dashboard which is going to be yours uh, and then I have to replace the connection so as of now you know email list validation you can see is not connected so you have to click on this one and you have to since you can see there is no connection over here you have to connect your own email list validation account or if you're not using this one this software you can probably go for the another one but make sure you make your connection over here and whatever is your CRM if you're already using close good for you just click on the connect button and it should work for you otherwise 
uh, you know pick whatever CRM that you have click on the action step and just choose the CRM connected with the Pabli platform and it should work for you so we are done if you have any question drop it down in the comment below I'll try my best to answer whatever is your use case and I'll see you in the next one bye bye